one more thing that just came to my mind as I was passing by this police truck here, this police van I just passed by. Um, as a motorcyclist, you ultimately become a target for police officers. And the reason is because they expect, by virtue of you being a motorcyclist, that you're going to take those liberties about which I spoke earlier. And even though they're illegal, they expect you to, to take them. So they're going to watch you extra hard. And so you now have to um, think about that, even as you're riding. I mean, there are times when I'm riding by and I just don't even notice a police officer. But fortunately, I'm riding within the speed limit. And so even though they're looking at me, they're taking a double take. They're looking at me to make sure that I don't do anything foolish. Um, I still have to be mindful of the fact that I'm being watched. You know, and even though I'm, I'm typically less visible than most automobiles, when they do lock on to me, they're going to make sure to watch me to see whether or not, you know, I decide to lane split or... You know, if, I, if I'm actually riding within the speed limit, I have to imagine that the same is true in other cities. Uh, again, this is D.C., so I'm uh, not sure whether the police here are any worse than anywhere else or any more focused on motorcyclists than, than they are anywhere else. But uh, again, just try to ride within myself, ride within the speed limit. It doesn't hurt. And I just let me openly admit that there are times when I have to remind myself of the very same things that I'm saying right now. I have to tell myself, stay within yourself, stay within the limit, all right? It's not going to kill you to stay in line with these cars. I don't have to squeeze up front, all right? It's not going to necessarily make me feel any better. And, um, you know, it, it's a lot safer just to do this, okay?